All right, good day, everybody. Uh, doing something different today. I just got back from picking up my mail, and I had uh, this sent to me. I have a Blue Eddy 120 watt solar panel, and the Blue Eddy, uh, I think it's the 500. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start by unboxing them, see how well they're packaged, and so on and do a uh, complete review on the Blue Eddy uh, portable battery system and the solar panel. All right, so this particular model, the EB55, comes in steel gray, which is the one that I got. Uh, it comes in sapphire, and it comes in vibrant orange. Here's the battery. The first thing I like about it right away is this handle folds down. Uh, I know the uh, Jackery 500 has the, the handle all, there all the time and it's a little bit of a pain being in van life where uh, space is limited at least you can pile stuff on top of this and uh, where the Jackery you can't because of the handle being in the way so that's my first like about this right off the bat alright let's get the solar panel open and take a look at it very well packaged again to protect it. Styrofoam around everything and bubble wrap. That's in a nice little package with the uh, little clips to hold it locked. And uh, I guess all your cables are in here. Yep. That's your cables to hook up to it. Yeah, very nice, neat package. I don't even know what that is. Just another handle. Oh no, that's the uh, the for holding it up, like a little tripod thing. Neat. All right, let's get into uh, the specs on these things. Okay, let's start with everything you get in the box. Obviously, you get the power station, which I said is the EB55. It has a 700 watt inverter in it which is phenomenal. It surges up to 1400 watts and it has a 537 watt hour battery in it, which are uh, LiPo batteries, which are the good batteries. But we'll get into that later. So yeah, in the box you get the power station. You get your uh, 200 watt uh, brick. It's a fairly big brick, but 200 watts, you're going to charge it pretty fast at that rate. Uh, the pl 110 plug for your wall. You get the cigarette lighter so you could charge it off your car while you're driving into the XT60 which plugs in here. I'll show you that later. And your solar cables. Those attach to your solar panel wires and your XT60 in the charger there. And you get uh, your user manual and warranty card from Blue Eddy. And that's it for what's in the box. So let's go over the specs now. Okay, so like I said, it has a 700-watt inverter in it, which is phenomenal for a 500-watt uh, battery system. I think the Jackery's is only 500 watts inverter, and it's a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, it surges up to 1400 watts as well, which is phenomenal for if you have appliances that do surge for a minute up to that height. And it has a 537 watt hour batteries. They're the LiPo 4 batteries, which are the best batteries, the batteries that you want, which can uh, be recharged up to 2500 times, where I think the Jackery is only five to eight hundred times so there's a huge bonus right there compared to them because they're basically equal prices uh, it's 16.5 pounds or 7.5 kilograms so it's not very heavy easy to tote around or carry somewhere so working temperatures for this it will discharge or you can have things plugged in up to minus 20 degrees celsius to uh, 40 degrees plus celsius which is uh, minus 4 Fahrenheit to 104 Fahrenheit. And uh, for charging, it's uh, 0 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, which is uh, 32 to 104 Fahrenheit. Oh, good. Okay, let's go 
over everything that's on the front panel of this. So at the top here is your inputs for your charging devices. These are for all the uh, XT60s that I showed you in the unboxing. Uh, your cigarette port would go in there and that's how it would charge. Uh, this one is for your uh, 110 brick if you were charging it from home. Obviously you have your screen here which shows, I'll talk about that later. Uh, then you have your DC output uh, section. Uh, so for each section there is a switch to turn each area on and off um, because this would have your inverter on all the time which would be using power. So it's nice to have those switches to turn each area off. But So this is your DC area and these are your bullet style uh, plugs for DC. This is your cigarette lighter output. And then you have your uh, DC USB outputs. Uh, it's great that it has the USB-C, uh, which is a 100 watt output, which is great, which is charges things very fast. And then you have uh, four USB-A's on top of that, uh, which charge at five volts or three amps, which is normal for the USB-A's. But uh, yeah, way more than uh, Jackery has as well for that, so you're winning all around. Another cool uh, USB feature, or another cool charging feature, when you have the uh, your USB on, is on top of here, you have a uh, wireless charging port for your phone, Your and I do have an iPhone, so that's perfect for me to uh, be able to charge my phone on top while I have other devices plugged in or whatever. And last is your uh, AC outputs, which is uh, 100 to 120 volts at 700 watts. And it has a pure sine wave inverter, so it's safe for all your electronic devices. And then you have uh, four plugs on this, where the Jackery only has one. And then it has the holes for, the, for your ground plugs, if you have extension cords or whatever, but... Um, it, your devices are not going to be grounded in this. This is just a hole for the ground because this is not grounded to anything. Okay, so the screen here is just uh, your battery power here on the left-hand side. And your upper number is your input for your solar or your power, whatever is coming in, however you're charging it. Your bottom number is your output of how many watts are coming out when you're charging uh, whatever you are charging. <laughs> okay, and on the back of this thing, there's actually a little light. I usually don't care about the light because it's usually just a small flashlight or whatever. But this one would be nice, I think, if you were having dinner around the picnic table and it was getting dark at dinner time and you needed sort of a, a lantern's light spread across the table or whatever, I think this one would do pretty good. That gives off quite a bit of light. Like an SOS feature even. Too bright. Okay, so for recharging this battery system, there are four different ways to do that, and that's through these two ports. Um, so you can plug it into solar. Uh, Blue Eddy has a 120 watt panel and a 200 watt panel. I have the 120 watt panel. So you can plug it in there, or this is for the 110 brick, uh, which is 200 watts. So it can take up to uh, 400 watts of charging at a time, so it would charge phenomenally quick, with that being said. Uh, so you can have uh, 200 watts of solar plugged in and 200 watts of AC plugged in, and it'll charge it very quickly. I think the Jackery only accepts... I don't think you can do both at the same time with the Jackery, but it accepts uh, 65 watts of solar only, where this takes up to 200 watts. So again, you're winning over this thing. So yeah, solar, solar and AC, uh, your cigarette lighter port, or just the 110 brick. And there you go, four ways of charging it, and it accepts up to 400 watts. Phenomenal. Alright, first I want to test out these solar panels. I've never 
uh, taking it apart. So let's see how easy it is to figure out how to open these up. And just push those little tabs in to unlock it. Oh wow, it's four panels. Nice. Okay. So it has all these little legs at the back that are adjustable for the sun. We have buttons to go in different positions for how far you want this open. I'm going to put it up here, this one. And open that up. So, it has a nice long cable anyway. Nice. Let me get the other end of this and the battery. And then this end. There's another charging output on here. So we're getting 114 watts of solar in right now. Which I had never seen the Jackery do. Like I said, it was only six, maxing out at 65 watts on the Jackery 500. So yeah, I'm assuming this thing will definitely charge a lot faster. And what's it say? How much power is in the battery right now? I think it was at like 40%. I think they're only allowed to ship uh, lithium batteries at 40% or 33% or something like that. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long this thing uh, takes to charge up to 100%. Alright, so after... Uh, just a little over two and a half hours, we are charged up to 100%. Now we can start doing some load testing on it and plug a bunch of things in and see what happens. Okay, so check this out. I have uh, as much electronics as I could find to hook up to this thing. I have uh, Uma's nail clippers, uh, my camera battery, uh, the Dyson vacuum, my headphones, my drone batteries, a flashlight, and I have the computer hooked up to the 100 watt USB-C. And how much are we drawing? So there's only 55 watts output for all of that stuff. And as you can see, everything is charging. Oh, I should turn that around so you can see the light that it is charging red lights on. That's charging, that's charging. Drone batteries charging. Headphones. Computer is charging. Yeah, that's freaking phenomenal that you can have all those, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things uh, charging it's taking 60 watts uh, plus you can do the phone wirelessly on top as well but yeah that's uh, that's phenomenal that's so many more in outputs than the uh, Jackery has I really like this thing I'm impressed anyway I think uh, Blue Eddy is definitely the way to go over Jackery for sure. But uh, yeah, I really like this thing. The only thing that I don't like about it, or the only con, I guess, that I've found, is you don't know exactly what your battery level is at. It's just uh, increments of 20. So if that drops out of 100%, you don't know if you're at... 84% or 92%. It'd be much more convenient just to have a number there instead of a battery telling you exactly how much percentage of battery you have. Okay, so definitely the Blue Eddy EB55 is a thumbs up for me. I really like this unit. I think it's great. Perfect for me. So Blue Eddy makes all kinds of different sizes of uh, portable battery stations that you can get. Uh, so depending on what you need and how much wattage, I know some people uh, in van life 
aren't even putting battery systems in and they're just running most everything off their portable battery systems which is fine because they're big enough and like I said it's pure sine wave inverters safe for all your electronics and with all the outputs that these have definitely uh, Blue Eddy is the way to go having all these extra outlets so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, review video of the Blue Eddy EB55 and I will put the Blue Eddy link in my description and I will also have a discount code down there if you choose to uh, purchase through my, through my uh, link. So thanks for watching, and if you like what you've seen, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Take care.